Today's Why Do I Have This uh, might look a little more ordinary, especially if you know my collections. So I got a lot of Transformers. And, uh, and like anybody who collects Transformers, I've got a whole bunch of Optimus Primes, like a lot of them. Uh, and this, this particular dude here is not an uncommon Prime for collectors to have. Uh, now, most Americans would uh, would know this as the uh, the Alternators Prime uh, turns into a Dodge Ram SRT10. Uh, this is actually the Japanese release, which means diecast, which is kind of awesome. Any toys that are made of metal are better than toys made of plastic. Uh, so that would make him the Binaltech Prime. Uh, you'll also notice that I've got he's got an extra gun. Well, I mean, if you know this stuff, you'll notice he's got an extra gun. Maybe you don't know. Maybe you're one of my Facebook friends. Uh, so, yeah, big extra gun that would uh, turn into a gas tank. And inside here, he's got a little Matrix of Leadership thing. Uh, that's because I've upgraded him. He's got floppy knee joints. Upgraded him with the Fans Project TF Parallax ABT-01 kit. Uh because I do that sort of thing. I buy extra expensive crap to add to my expensive toys. Uh, but neither of those things are what make this guy special. This is not technically the Binaltech Convoy. This is actually the Kiss Players Convoy, which means he comes with a little girl. The Kiss Players line was an odd in canon in G1 continuity offshoot of the Transformers where the uh, the robots would get power up uh, superpowers or something I don't know I don't read Japanese uh, but the little girls would have to kiss them to do this and the little girls according to the source material, are all over 18, but none of them look like they're over 18. So this, this is Melissa, or uh, Marissa Fairborn, I think. It was, it's, she's actually a character from the original 80s TV series, uh, but, you know, R's and L's. Uh, she's got this, you know, this seated pose so she can sit on Prime's shoulder, uh, and the robot actually, when it turns into a truck, uh, it's got a full cabin inside, so it's got seats and a steering wheel, so she can she can sit in the seat as well. Uh, or you know you've got you've got some options. She's entirely non-articulated here, but you can totally bisect her and pop in a different set of legs. This pops on there. There we go, and then dismember her and, uh, and then give her some different arms like this for uh, a sort of a leaning against the wall ready pose. That's terrible. Stop thinking like that. No, this pose is actually for Miss Prime, you're so handsome. Wham, 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 wham. This particular set also comes with a secondary weapon, which actually is a surfboard, a pink flaming surfboard with a really, really cool little skull graphic with a, a heart-shaped eye patch on it. I don't know if that's going to come in in focus there. Probably not. Uh, but this thing, uh, it can it can be split apart into a pair of swords that you can hold. Uh, there's little pegs on here that uh, that work in his hands. Uh, and then, if I can get this to work, which I usually can't, takes a takes a little bit of doing. Oh, there we go. Or it can combine into one big sword, which the uh, the second blade faces the wrong way. But you know, whatever. You've also got a little card in a baggie uh, with. Moon writing on the back, and I don't know what this is. It's more moon writing. Yeah, don't know. Uh, but then in the box, oh, the box is neat. 
the box has this cool flap. And, uh, and you'll see it more than meets the eye up here. Get that in there. We got more than meets the eye. And you'd think, oh, then it's going to show a picture of, of Optimus Prime turned into a truck. No, just a slightly more naked girl. Yeah. Uh, and inside the box, one last goodie. Oh, God, he fell over. Is a CD. Which the lighting in here just hates, hates it. And uh, and it is not a music CD. Uh, well, first off, the liner notes. This is kind of cool, actually. The liner notes are full of nice artwork and the instructions. Oh, I love that tech detail -y stuff. That's cool. And yeah, all the instructions for transforming. And the CD itself is a drama CD, which means it's like a radio play. It's all squeaky high Japanese girl voices talking and talking and talking. I listened to about five minutes of it and I don't know why I even did that. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so there's there's all that. There's Baboop. Stand up again. And plug that in there and some there we go. And and that is that is the Kiss Players Convoy Extra Legs creepy little girl makes out with giant robot toy that I have that I got specifically because it's it's the weirdest line of Transformers I think ever made. Uh, the fans are all very uncomfortable and I think that's just awesome. Sit on my face and tell me that you love me.